Hi and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today with two puzzles, or actually not two puzzles, one puzzle over here and a dexterity game over here, which looks rather simple if you ask me. But well, let's see how difficult this one really turns out. Both of them are made and designed in the US by Beards Woodshop. This one's name is Novenary. And this one is the Unite Lock. Entirely made out of wood, it seems. Some, <laughs> some strange noise coming out of it. It's actually a padlock and a task is on this one to take out the shackle over here. And it, it sounds to me like they, there are some, some pins or some mechanisms inside to release it. I mean, makes sense, right? But you can hear this. There's also a keyhole here in the center, but not coming with a key which makes it, from my point of view, even more interesting. And this one here comes also with an instruction here on the rear saying, place all the bearings into each small hole. So there are nine of these small holes here inside, one big one in the center, but avoid the large hole in the center. If a ball falls into the center hole, the game will start over. So let's see how long it will take me to solve. You can trap some of the balls behind the other ones in those corners here. They are very sensitive and become loose quite easy. And now one is placed in the center hole and cannot even get it out again. So I really need to start over. And again. What makes it tricky, I think, is that you need to take care about, it's not just possible to just place them somewhere, but you need to take care not to place them in the wrong order, because otherwise you cannot pass some areas anymore. No! And again. Yeah, come on, come on. Go in there. Yes, oh, woo. This was more tricky than I actually expected. Interesting one, interesting little dexterity gain novenary. And now, now it's time to solve the puzzle, the Unite Lock. And after spoiler break, you're gonna see my first attempt trying to do so. Okay, so here's a mark up there, by the way. I didn't drop it, but this happened probably during shipping. First thing I'm gonna check is inside of the keyhole if I can't see anything. And if I look inside, you would instantly notice that there is nothing where a key, if you put it inside here, could go. So this seems to be all closed. So the keyhole, except I maybe could somehow shift it like so, is probably useless. Then I got these six holes here. Um, some of them, they have different depth, I think, because so, in some of them, I think I can see something inside, while on the other ones not, but they seem all, all closed. Then we got this hole here and with no tool to, to use it for something. And we got this here. What is this? It's like a movable piece. Let me just but it won't come out thing in here. Ah, here we go, here we go. Not sure what was going on, why it was so hard to get out. Oh, oh, it's back in. But now, so, out again. No, this time I will be more careful. I'm not mistaken. Let me, let me see, if I move it like so, and only hear the wood, if I turn it around. Oh, now it's blocked. So there is definitely like a pin or something. Yes, in this direction, pin is released or the slider is released in this direction. So you drop in the slider at one point here and now it's fixed. So let's see what happens if I go a bit further. And now again, it's fixed. There is another thing somewhere in here. I think there is maybe another pin somewhere there something because hmm. so um just to mention okay so i i tried to solve this puzzle for about 30 minutes getting 
getting pretty much nowhere and then I contacted the creator uh, trying to clarify if I maybe missed something or if something is wrong with the puzzle. She then told me what's the first step on this puzzle and the result was that on my copy is somehow it was kind of jammed. I was not able to operate it by hand. Can happen, no complaint from my side. I mean, this is all handmade in a great quality. Maybe something stuck inside, I'm not sure, or maybe the coating stuck. I don't know, I'm not too much of an expert of wood crafting. Maybe due to the humidity here in my room, yeah, maybe the sli dimension slightly changed and caused it to slightly jam. What I used in the end, I will show you the first step now is you can slide this one over here and I tried this as one of the very first steps very hard but no chance this was entirely stuck. What I then did is to fix it I took uh, this tool here and I pushed here on the first layer very hard and then it broke loose and now it's free and easy to operate so I will start over now from this point okay when you do this you will notice when you turn it around at one point they will drop a small pin out of this puzzle, okay? So they will drop a small pin out here, like this one, okay? This one is nearly not a hole at all. <laughs> next one, next one. Ah, and there's this one on the top. Oh, this one is spring-loaded. Oh, and it drops down here on the bottom. And this is this is basically the slider I bumped out here against my palm. It's very hard to do, and I was surprised, or actually curious to understand if this is intended. It's not intended, okay? You should push it out with this pin. Does not change anything. Maybe let's put this one back. Oh, there's a third one here. Oh yes, and this is the right one. Okay, I think I, I, I'm understanding how this works, okay? I imagine it to work in the following way. You have here the body, you have here the shackle with the cutout for the pin and with this small notch here, okay? Then you have over here the slider or the pin that is pushing the slider out of position. Then you have the slider going all the way down here, like so. And in this slider, there are three cutouts, it seems. One cutout with an increased depth, like so, let's say. And two more, which are like, like this, okay? And when I put the, pull the thing completely out, there's a pin running here, okay? A very long pin and how I draw it here basically is wrong yeah so actually these cutouts are not down here but there is one like here like here and like here let's say okay so when I pull this now out and I pull it too far out this pin will go inside one of these two holes here this happens for example if I pull it out like so yeah the pin is over here if I pull it out like so it's in here and if I only pull it out a tiny bit like so it will be able to get in this hole and only in this hole it will be able to go far enough inside to get fully outside of this notch over here and release the shackle. And this is the only way I can imagine how this works. Pretty cool and nice clever little lock puzzle. Not too difficult as I said. I would rate the difficulty from a personal point of view with a 3 out of maximum 5. Definitely doable, still gives you some nice multi-step puzzle experience if you like what you have seen keep on watching in the future and that's it for today keep on puzzling